have partnered with X Rocker. They have great quality products such as chairs, desks, accessories, and more. Feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And when checking out, use the code Ironix10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice. Hey guys, it's Ironix here, and I'm making another Feather Family video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the newest bird added into the game. But before we get started with the video, I would just like to also bring your attention to the X Rocker website. So over here, we can see that they have a lot of cool things, as I have mentioned previously and also in the little animation in the beginning. But as we can see, there are a ton of different chairs. There's a ton of different accessories. There's many, many things <laughs> for your gaming setup. One thing I want to take a close look at, though, is the lovely chair that I have actually made a post on on my Instagram of... It is a lovely orange chair, and this one I think is really cool, mainly just because of the orange, because I, I believe the colors look so nice together. But this one is really cool. Um, many other ones are also really cool, but this one stood out to me the most. It is a really nice chair, really amazing, and it actually has the straps on the pillow, unlike mine does. Mine kind of has like just a floating pillow, but that one has like an adjustable pillow, which I find is definitely more better in case you want your pillow to be in a certain area and you don't want to have it being held up by your back and have it holding up itself. But anyways, if this chair interests you, you can go to the website yourself, check it out, and then you can use the code Lyronix10 and get 10% off of any item, including this chair. Now back to the video itself. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new bird. I did realize that I actually do not have enough feathers at the moment. But here's the thing. We're going to play just for a little bit and then hopefully have enough feathers and then we'll be able to buy it. Because as you can see, I got 215 here and it's 250. Hopefully we'll get this in the next like five or so minutes and then, you know, we'll get to it. I promise. But why? While we wait, what do we want to do? I mean, maybe we can just look around, see if there's anything. Because there's been many times when we'll go around looking at the map and we'll find, like, secret little hidden things that even still surprise me, you know? Like, it is astounding <laughs> at all the new things that I'll find every time I'm looking through the map. Here, let's play as our lovely phoenix. <gasps> oh, okay, we have the options again. Let's play as the new one, though. I want to I wanna check out this one again because I know I've made a video on it already, but I kind of want to vibe with the new phoenix. All right, so obviously the number one spot that I want to check out is the village because I feel like honestly It has been changing way too much and I have not been able to keep up with it at all I don't think I ever actually like thoroughly investigated the village once it was updated because I know there's a lot of new buildings We can see that we have a new school. We have new houses We have like new almost everything here like the trees even look cleaner There's an extra house over here like everything is just nicer and I feel like that's just something we should take a second and appreciate because oh my goodness <laughs> i feel like everything like slowly goes through changes but it's just so much at the same time that it's like it doesn't even matter that it's going like so slowly it's good that it's coming slowly because then i have time to prepare because so much is going on you know but anyways i just wanted to call back the village because i'm lately i have not been able to see it without any decorations on it because every time i end up playing it's during some kind of holiday or event like i played during new year's and there was like a bunch of fireworks and golden streamers and stuff and balloons and then I played during like winter and so we had like a Christmas tree and presents and then the time I played before that was during Halloween and there was like pumpkins and candy and stuff so I feel like this is the first time in a while that I've actually seen the village all clean and with nothing there so uh, taking a moment to take it all in I really like these lanterns so like the street light I love it I, even though it's like I feel like it doesn't exactly fit the entirety like of the vibe but <laughs> I I do like the lantern because I what I feel more so is like they would kind of have like torches or something because I feel like the houses make you kind of feel like you're in a more like medieval time or just you know taken taken back to like a time where they wouldn't have fancy street lights like this you know but then there's also a few other houses I believe there's one near hold on I think it's the forest yeah okay there we go <laughs> there's this one here there's a house here so we have an updated house right there and there was also oh a tree house <laughs> oh wait a second i like that it's a big hole in the tree 
Oh, there's one right here! <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, there's also the one house with the big, uh, the water wheel on the side of it, which I wanted to look at if that was still there. So, let's see. This is the village again. How do I keep stumbling upon the village? There's that one. Okay, this is the one I was talking about, though, I believe. Does this one have a water wheel? No? I was so sure it had a water wheel on it. Okay, it does. <laughs> there it is. Is this one updated at all? From the looks of the outside, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I believe this is still the same. Down here seems definitely different. I mean, this new lantern's here and there's stuff hanging. But up here, I believe everything is still the same. So they definitely like put the lanterns in here to like spice it up a bit. But they didn't really change anything aside from the hanging vines in the ceiling in the little basement area. So we have a few new little areas here, which is definitely really cool. We have a little volcano spot if we want to have like the phoenix. We have a, hold on, which biome is this? This is the beach, right? Hold on, <laughs> that's the beach. This is Ice Mountain because it's snowing on the inside. This one is the swampy forest area. This is for hatching. This one is, I'm going to just guess based off of the village, mainly because it has like this little coop here for like chickens. And I believe like the village area is for like chickens and ducks and swans, you know, those kind of birds that are like farm animals. This one could be the forest and the other one is the jungle, maybe? Maybe. Good question. This one over here is the Skyland for sure. No, I lie. It's the fantasy field. That's the fantasy field. Field. I lied. <laughs> this one, that, okay, this is either the jungle or the forest. I'm getting confused now. This one, swampy area, but it's kind of in between the jungle and the forest. You know, you debate on your own. Uh, ice mountain, uh, desert. Yes, okay. I might have missed some or might have confused ones for others, but those are those. But we do have enough feathers now. All right, let's get this new bird. Ba bam. Okay, cool beans. <laughs> All right, so obviously we want to start out with the child here. He has very pink legs. I <laughs> Not entirely sure why, but he does have very pink legs. <laughs> oh my gosh, the way he jumps is so aggressive. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, the way he walks. He He's so- Oh my gosh, please. Who- <laughs> I'm sorry, that is really funny. The way he throws his legs out. Wah, 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 wah. That- that is kind of goofy. That is- that is- that is silly goofy. That is horrible. That is not horrible. It's horrifying. It's kind of scary, okay? I'm not gonna lie, that is kind of scary. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the controls here. We have the call. Everything about this bird is, like, unsettling. <laughs> We have the eat. We have the herd. Oh no, he face planted. And then we have the eyes. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I can't get over the way he walks. That's that's a little too much for me. He jumps and walks like an absolute like creature. <laughs> like he's he literally is sprinting at you and then he jumps with like full body thrust into the air. I gotta say that is like slightly terrifying. And he's gonna leave. He's gonna stick with leaves on it. That like how can you look at this and not think of it being a threat? Because oh my goodness, that is again terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that is very scary. All right, let's grow up. Uh, make new colors? No, never. Never. Too lazy for that, okay? To be honest. Okay, okay. You're walking. You're walking and your jumping got like a whole lot better. Now you do like hop and then your jump is like a little flap flap. That's kind of cute, okay? It's definitely much better than like the big... The, I don't even know what to call that kind of walk. I'm pretty sure it has like a name, but I have no clue what you would call that. But oh my gosh, that was weird. That was quite an interesting way to walk. Ooh, look at these blue mushrooms. Rooms. I'm gonna use them as lighting. It's getting dark out. Uh, control. So we have the call. Oh, it's a rather long call compared to most. That one, that one is really, that one's long. Goodness. Okay. We have the sit. I want to make sure you guys, because it is getting dark. You know, it's bad when you can't see. The eating, less aggressive. Again, definitely better. The hurt, <laughs> the hurt. Just gonna completely turn around and fall over, you know, because that's what I do. Dramatic. Oh. <laughs> Just like, oh, no. <laughs> the display display the display is aggressive you you have some aggressive traits in you from when you were a child they have passed on to adulthood but you know still less aggressive but goodness you could calm down a bit it's like it's almost like you're screaming at me like this would be as if like a bird did not like me it would sit there and do this to me like with a high screeching sound you know oh uh, we the preen definitely sweet i like that uh, lately we've been having a lot where the head goes like over like not really a shoulder but like the shoulder you know, going over 
started to stretch the back. No, but this one's kind of getting on its stomach, which is definitely different because we haven't seen it in quite a while. So cool, cool, cool. Uh, we also have the eyes, blinking, 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 and we can fly. Yay! <laughs> I'm so surprised with how many new birds they've been coming out with lately. Honestly, like there has been so many, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> because before, like I feel like it, like it had been forever since we have seen like a new bird, and then it would be like a game pass bird, and then you'd have to buy it. So then some of you wouldn't even be able to obtain the bird. So it's definitely really cool that they've been coming out with a lot more birds lately. I uh, really like this bird. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, part of the squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.